Mr. Lonely. I have nobody for my own. I am so lonely. I'm Mr. Lonely. Wish I had some. Hello everybody, this is Darkfan, and we are on a spaceship, all by our lonesome, and we are going to look at the mod pack called Pathfinder. <laughs> it's a mod pack by a, I think the Phoenix team, is that what they're called? Um, headed by Gideon Seymour, which is the Running Red um, developer, uh, mod pack developer, and I've played that a bit, so uh, let's get right into it. Things. So let me get. For some reason, I was in uh, F5 mode. I don't know why. <laughs> get kind of got a crazy up here in space. So let's read the book. Some voyages last forever. Some voyages are lost in the sands of time. Some voyages are destroyed when the fabric of reality tears. But other voyages, those voyages go down in history, forever remembered. From the moment the console pings for the first time to when the first grain of sand from an artificial world is touched by human hands to when the vast expanses of space-time open up for the user to experience for the first time these are the voyages that will be remembered. These are the voyages of those aboard the USS Pathfinder and its ethereal quest to understand how our universe thinks and breathes. These are your voyages. It is up to you to make sure they are never lost. All right. So let's, oh, music stopped all of a sudden. So let's open up the book for the quest. Voyager, you sit aboard the Pathfinder, looking out at the stars. So, Dauntless, the quiet hum of the generators awake you. Oops. There are generators going. They wake you with a relevation. You stand up and rush to the back of the ship, nearly tripping over the teleporter pads. Today is day 315 aboard the USS Pathfinder. Designation NCC-74562. On its voyage across the star system. After this long... Wait, after this long, the purpose of the voyage is hard to remember. It is a lonely trek across the stars. And even with... Oh, I lost my place. It's a lonely trek across the stars. And even with all the state-of-the-art equipment, you've been hard-pressed to find something to do. Until now. Under the blue glow of the planet above, you tear open the crates, finding the mysterious devices you've been carrying with you, nicknamed Dimlets by the people back home. You tear them apart to understand their workings. And then you see the purpose of these alien creations. Among these tangles of wires and bases and essences, you see the potential to create something. To create something big. With a few slight modifications to the yellow-bordered virtual reality device, I lost my place again, you could potentially take your dreams and turn them into a reality. Sounds like a commercial. Finally overcome with a purpose, you realize that it is time to get to work. Alien constructs. The dimlets found in the crates are potentially the building blocks of life. These dimlets possess the power to shape reality as we know it. Place them in your inventory, and we can begin. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like, uh, what's his name on the Twilight Zone? Okay, so we need a, an effect none, a terrain normal, and a material none. All right. Those are all unknown. Material none? Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. We are limited on our inventory. Terrain normal. And effect none. And tabular creation. 
originally serving as a device to manage the virtual realities you would create, the tabular creation matrix can now be reapplied to create these new dimensions. Simply right click on the matrix to obtain an empty tab. Oops. Right click on the matrix. Right click on the matrix to get an empty tab. What did it say? The tabular creation matrix can now be reapplied to the grid. Tabular creation matrix. Maybe I need to. Oh. Aha. Got it. Yay. That's not dangerous at all. Fireworks in a ship full of oxygen. <laughs> all right. Claim reward. Oh. Uh. Uh. Let's put you there. Put you there you there Wink. we've got the book all right all right so then we go to Yamoto now for the tricky part as this stuff may very well be constructing a universe there is a method to constructing a dimension as well there can be some failures once before a ship tried to determine what these artifacts did the USS Yamoto Yamo Yamoto Designation NCC-7187 lost all of its crew due to an incident like this, but nobody has seen this like you have, at least not yet. You can repurpose the inscriber to help you write these dimensions. In order to create your dimension, you will need to place your dimlets within the tab. In the dimension inscriber, place the empty dimension tab into the, or blah, 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 I'm inserting words, in the slot in the lower left, then place the effect tab see the effect tab in the slots at the top as there's a sort of grammar with the with this in order to create a world that is somewhat like home you'll need to make sure no special types of materials affect the terrain so place the material none dimlet directly before the terrain normal dimlet all right so we go to the inscriber and we know that one of these goes here Material none like that and store. And we should really go here and add a career. Now, for the final step before the dimension is created, open up the interface to the dimension builder and place the realized tab inside. The power will flow from the air around you into the dimension. You have just created your a new world dimension. Whoosh. Uh, oh. Uh. Clear <laughs> Yay. All right, go back. Oh, this one. Venture. You can feel the pulse of energy as the Dimension Builder catalyzes. Or blah, blah, blah. Catalyzes your new world, speeding up the process of life creation by billions and trillions of years. Billions and trillions of years. If space was the final frontier, you have just surpassed that. You have entered the next generation of technology. Gone to the newest frontier. The only part left is to enter your world you've created. So we, the teleport system you've previously used for ship-to-ship -ship transport can now be used to transport yourself to the dimension you've created. Follow my instructions carefully. Open up the interface on the dialing device. In the top section, you will see entry named matter transmitter, entry titled tanner. Okay. Click on that, and so it's highlighted gray. Down below is a second. Down below. In the second section, you should see several entries. Choose the one not labeled, Pathfinder. <laughs> not labeled Pathfinder so that both term matter transmitter and the other entry are highlighted in the dark area at the bottom of the interface. We know how to do all this, by the way, because we have been playing FTB Infinity. Um, this is more for your guys' benefit. At the bottom of the interface, click the dial button. A green beam of light will shoot out of the matter transmitter. Stand in this beam. Do not move. 
to be transferred to the new dimension. Okay, so dialing device. Make sure we visited matter transmitter. Okay, that's over there. So dialing device. Matter transmitter and dial. And we go over here. And I guess we'll go in. Whoosh. And we wait. Yes. This is scary here. All right, claim reward. All right, go back. And now Odyssey. The thrum of life around you gives you way gives way to a growing sense of panic. You forgot something. How are you going to get out of this world? You'll need to do a little bit of mining to get set up to set up your teleportation system again. But to do that, you'll need to make some pickaxes. In order to make these pickaxes, or any tool for that matter, one needs to construct some method of creating them. These tables in their simplest form will allow you to fashion pickaxes of at least a minor quality. Okay. Um... Ooh, it is so dark here. Oh, and there's so many mobs. Um, is it going to be daytime soon? Oh, we should have left some stuff behind. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> All right, folks, I think this might be a... Ooh, what's that over there? Oh, that's the sun coming up. This might be a good place to end it for this quick introduction to Pathfinder. Um, Let me know what you think. If you want to see me continue this series, leave a like, leave a comment below, etc., etc., and we will continue next time. I know this was a short, short video, but I just wanted to uh, kind of get, get a little bit started here. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.